Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, rather nice Porsche 944 Lux, finished in black with full black leather. Um, Spec-wise, we've got front fogs, um, headlamp wash. We've got um, different alloy wheels. They're Azev alloys. I think they're 17 inches. Sorry about the mud, but it's filthy around here this morning. Um, electric mirrors. It's got sunroof. Um, let's look at those tyres. Certainly 17 on the back. So it should be 17s on the front. Yeah. Um, this one's also got full black leather. It's got the um, rear under tray on it, obviously rear spoiler as well. Uh, it's also got privacy film on the, um, the rear hatch and the rear windows. Um, <coughs> nice car actually. Let's go around in a bit more detail, pick out uh, some of the good points and the bad points. Fairly low mileage on this one, I think the speedo is showing 91,000. Buckets of history with it as well. Um, you have got a few stone chips and things around the, um, the front end. It's always going to happen on a, on a black one. It, they do show every mark. Um, but really, what have we got here? A few stone chips on the front bumper and a very tiny scuff about an inch long just there where my finger is. Um, and a few stone chips on the bonnet. But that's about it. Looking down the near side, all looks very clean and straight down there. No parking dinks or dents or anything I can really point out. The wheels, are, I don't know if they're supposed to be a matte finish or whether they've lost their lacquer. Um, they look alright, but as I say, they're just uh, almost as if they're sort of a matte silver rather than um, rather than lacquered silver, but uh, they may have lost their lacquer. I say, sorry about the mud all over the tyres. Um, this is alright all down here. Perhaps a tiny spot just starting to poke through where my finger is. More paint loss than anything else. It's on the bottom of the near side um, um, near side front wing. Uh, I did notice a couple of key scratches, yes. There's a couple of key scratches. Um, one that goes faintly from there to there, then gets a bit stronger from there to there, right on the lip, and then faintly again over the top. The faint bits would probably polish out. There's another one there, between there and there, which is very faint, which possibly will polish out. Um, Door, no problem. Interior-wise, it's really nice, actually. The black leather really uh, really sets it off, and the leather's in super shape, as are all the door panels and everything. The dash has got minimal cracking on it, very little that I've seen on a lot of other 944s of this age. There's a couple of, just a couple of minor cracks right on the very top of the dash, but um, not much to, uh, to worry about. It's got 944 mats in the back. Back looks like it's hardly been sat in. It's got uh, belts for the rear passengers. Um, but the interior is absolutely super. Um, another key scratch that probably will polish out in fairness, just there to there. It's not broken through the lacquer. Um, walking around the back end, that's all splendid. Nothing to get it uh, too excited about there. Apart from it's a nice car, it's always something to be excited about. Um, down the offside, once again, a couple of key scratches, a slightly deeper one here. Um, it's shallow from there to there, then it's broken through the lacquer from there to there, and then it's shallow again, so some of it will polish out, but that bit certainly from there to there wouldn't polish out. Um, so someone's taken exception to something at some point. And really it could do with either a little bit of touching in or a, um, a rubber strip, one of those rubbing strips just between there and there on the tra trailing edge of the driver's door. It's obviously been garaged and rubbed against the, um, the door at some point. Um, carrying on round. Just got the minor scratches and dirt really. That's about it. Um, this is just dirt down here. Um, except for a tiny bit of paint lost just there on the very edge of the offside front, um, offside front arch. Uh, screen, it's fine, no problems at all there. Roof is fine, except I did notice a couple of chips on the back of the roof, obviously where it's probably been, been, been badly carelessly taken out. There's a big chip there right through to the metal and one there as well, um, which probably need attending to and a couple of tiny chips on the roof itself. But those two there really need to be looked at. Um, that's it. Nothing else to worry about on the outside. It's a cracking car, actually, this one. Uh, interior, well, there's a few sort of minor, minor scratches around the driver's door handle just from uh, rings and things, but bear in mind this is now what, uh, 
26 years old. Um, interior wise, driver's seat's beautiful as you can see, there's no um, wear or scuffing or anything like that on the edge of the driver's seat bolster. Dash is nice, everything works, everything does what it should. Um, carpets are good, can't really fault the interior, headlining's nice. That's about it. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 if you've got any issues or queries with regard to this uh, rather super 944 looks. End.